Well, welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Uh, again, a bit of a scruff bag today, and and in in the set for face to face where we're we have been filming with uh, Alex Belfield, who's just out making himself a coffee, and it sounded like a nanny goat piddling into a treacle tin. Uh, from where I'm sitting. Anyway, today's news, we're all free. The COVID rules are going to be lifted. And now, of course, everyone's moaning at Boris again. They're all saying, oh, hang on, all these funny sage people and all these professors coming out the woodwork are now saying, oh, that's not a good idea. Nicola Sturgeon and that funny Welsh bloke, uh, they're all saying, oh, he's done that too quick. We're not going to do this. But no, that, that's good. I, I think it's the right thing to do. We can all choose to be cautious, cautious, should we wish to? My mouth's not working this morning. I had a bit of a gut fall last night uh, with Charlie Mullins, my old mate, uh, Charlie Mullins, who owned Pimlico Plumbers. He's a good old boy. We had a good old natter and a good old drink last night. And I fell asleep on the bed, fully clothed, like staring up at the ceiling. And I thought, my sore throat. And I had a look and my clacker lacquer is now bigger than my penis. Yes, it's that big. Yeah, so I've got a bit of a swollen throat. So this morning I'm living on Nurofen and uh, coffee that Alex might make me in a minute. So we're all COVID free. Now we're all moaning about that as well. And also, while everything is going on in the world, the Labour Party are now keeping on yet again about 10 Downing Street. It's now wallpaper gate. Who bought the wallpaper? Who gives a toss who bought the wall? Can't we just get on with life? Can't we get on with life and concentrate on the important things of working out about that West Ham footballer who kicked that cat? Did you see that? I actually can't believe that someone, that he allowed that to be filmed, the idiot, in the first place. And how can anyone kick a cat? I can imagine kicking a donkey or something that's got some stuff, but a cat, you can almost put your hands either side of them and feel your hands. Poor little bloody Moggy got kicked. And he, well, you know, what someone put on Facebook, he was a rotten footballer, that cat only went four foot. I mean, some people are bloody sick, aren't they? Not much of a footballer. They're, they're just, sick sense of humour. It was probably Jimmy Carr who put that on, rotten sod. Anyway, I, people are saying to me, what should happen with that footballer? Do you think he should, West Ham should ban him? Well, I think that he should be treated the same as anybody else and the NSPCA should report any crime that's been done and the police should feel his collar and, and fine him. I know West Ham have found him or fined him uh, 250,000 quid. That's two weeks wages. What are they going to do with that money? If they've got any sense at all, they will send it to the RSPCA. What a thing to do. Kick the poor bloody cat. I, I knew a Scotsman once who made love to a cat and he didn't get nicked because they said it's the first time a Scotsman's put anything in the kitty. All right, sick joke, I know. So let's turn over the page and go and see all the members of Ustream where I'm going to explain to them how to work our new homepage and our, the new, new look Ustream. And it's push button friendly. 